here I am. I'm a plant lady. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Genevieve. Today's video is going to be, what the heck am I gonna title this? Today's video is a mix of a lot of stuff. So it's gonna be a little bit of a haul from like Marshalls and the Christmas tree shops. I'm also gonna show you guys pieces around my home that I always um, gravitate to when I'm shopping that give my home like a minimalist farmhouse vibe. I don't know if people think of farmhouse as like I have cows all over my house and pigs and I think I live on a farm. It's not like that. It's just, that's just what it's called. It's a lot of whites and grays, neutrals, antiques stuff like that that's what i like and i guess i just call it farmhouse but to me i'm kind of like a minimal clean colored neutral farmhouse style so i want to show you guys some pieces that i always pick up when i'm shopping that are this vibe um, and I'm sure if you saw my thumbnail, you're probably into the same kind of style as well. Sorry, I keep itching my face. I have like hair all over me, but, um, you're probably into this style as well. So one of the first things I want to show you guys is, um, the plant I picked up at Lowe's and then I got a really cute pot for it at Marshall's. Putting plants in your house can really just like elevate the space. It adds like a really nice touch of greenery, especially if you have like gray walls like me and a lot of browns and grays and whites. Um, as you can see, I have a fiddle leaf. She's struggling. <laughs> I left her out in 95 degree weather last summer. She's recovering, but she she's not as good as she used to be. Let's just leave it at that. Simple touches like that really can make your house um, just feel more homey, like alive, you know what I mean. So I picked up this. So this is a snake plant. I'm sure you've seen them on Pinterest, whatever. These are really popular right now. This is a real snake plant. They're expensive if you get them fake in like a cute pot. This plant was $7.98 and the pot was $12.99 for Marshalls. Oh, the lighting is kind of bad. There you go. $7.99 for Marshalls. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I do with all of this decor. So I'll show you where I put this in my house. And for less than $20, this is a huge statement piece. And um, I'll show you it on the table that I put it on. You really won't need much else to go on your table. So for less than $20, you can have a really nice piece on your uh, furniture. So um, snake plants are not that difficult to take care of. Same with a fiddle leaf. Um, so it's, I think it's cheaper to probably grab a real one and they're good for the environment, whatever. Grab a real snake plant. They're not that hard to take care of. Same with the fiddle leaf figs. They're not that difficult to take care of. Just don't leave them out in the sun um, for too long in really hot weather. So definitely pick up one of these um, snake plants. Like I said, Lowe's has them for $7.98. You cannot beat that price. Um, even for a fake one, they're probably like $12.99 at Home Goods for a fake plant. Don't buy a fake plant, please. I mean, I do have a couple fake plants around my house, but like not something like this. Like get a real one. You can take care of it. Just water it like once a week, once a month. You'll be good. Okay, so not everything I'm gonna show you guys is brand new. I just wanted to grab a couple pieces from around my house. I'll go around and show you guys some other things, but um, some of this stuff I didn't buy yesterday. So the other things that I keep in my living room are these really pretty amber jars. 
I love these. I found them in the Target dollar spot in the fall. I think this one was five, this one was three or something like that. I keep them on my living room table. I don't put anything in them, actually. I probably should get something to put in them, but I just keep them sitting out. Just the glass is very neutral. Um, it brings a really nice, like, clean vibe. So I love those. If you can ever find, like, amber glass jars, not only amber glass jars, but I also have these. They're that really soft green color. They are my favorite colored glass jars. So I always pick those up if I find them. I got those at Hobby Lobby on clearance. And that greenery in them as well is from Hobby Lobby. And that greenery is my favorite. It's like a soft green color. It's not like too harsh or like screams like fake greenery to me. Although yes, it's fake, but it doesn't like stand out so much that you're like, why does she have fake florals all over her house? So that's definitely something um, that you should pick up. Really neutral glassware. Love having that in the house. Next, I just picked up some neutral dish towels. So I'm actually just going to use these to hang on my oven. Um, and then of course, like when I wash my hands, I'll like wipe them on this while it's hanging on the oven. But um, that's the purpose of this. Just something like this can really like tie in a whole vibe into your kitchen. So I always go for stripes. I'm a big stripes gal, but grays and whites are totally my vibe. This two pack was $5.99 at Marshall's. So really not a bad price. And I will show you guys how my kitchen looks when I put this in there. The next thing I picked up, this was $4.99 at Marshall's and this is something so simple that you could pick up even like a small wood tray, something like that, if you have an island in your kitchen. And you can just set this in the middle of your island with a nice candle, a cute little sign, something like that. Just really elevates the space. So if you were to just pop something like this on it with a candle, that, that alone just makes it look so much nicer on your island. And I'm a sucker for wicker. I love wicker stuff, like the baskets. I have a lot of that stuff tied into my house, like woods and wicker. Um, so it all kind of ties in. Like I, I have that here and then I have some in my kitchen. My chairs are wicker, stuff like that. And all of it just kind of ties together and makes it feel like your house is very uniform and it's not like your farmhouse dining room and a modern kitchen. Like it all just kind of flows together. So keep that in mind when you're shopping too. Like I like to keep the same kind of theme going. So anything like this can really elevate a space and you can put like a cute little decoration on here in the middle of your island instead of just like popping a candle in the middle of your island and it looking boring. So great idea. All right, so this I picked up at Marshall's as well. I already have two of these. I have one in our sitting room, which I'll show you, and then I have one upstairs in our bedroom. I love these. This is like a, just a simple touch. Everyone comes over and makes fun of me and says they can feel the salt power from my freaking lamps. I can't. So I picked up a mini salt lamp. It's not that big, it's smaller than my head. And I plan on putting this one in the kitchen, just right on our countertop under one of the cabinets, just to bring a little bit of something, something into the kitchen. Our kitchen is very like bland. We don't have much on our countertops besides like kitchen stuff. So um, I think having this on at night, it just looks really nice. When we had our Christmas decorations up. I had moved our salt lamp from our sitting room into the kitchen and I just loved having that little bit of light and this kind of like, I don't know, it brings a different vibe into the kitchen and I absolutely love these. They're my favorite. Um, and they bring off a really nice color. They just make me feel good. You can really feel the power when you have these on, so. Going along with that plant vibe, 
I also picked this up from Christmas tree shops. I have another fiddle leaf fig that I will probably put in this or I have another plant that I can put in this and I wanna put it on the fireplace flooring right here and move this one in the basket. So that was $16. I got it on clearance, freaking steel. Those are like $34.99 at Home Goods. So I love that. It kind of brings in like, like a dark modern farmhousey vibe, whatever. Anything that has to do with plants, I'm a real sucker for lately. I used to make fun of my mom because I'm like, why do you need all these plants? But here I am, I'm a plant lady. So that is all that I got yesterday. That's just a couple little pieces that you can add into your house to make it just feel a little bit like more minimal, more clean, but still that farmhousey vibe. Let me show you guys where I'm actually going to put this stuff and um, show you how I like tie in these pieces to make it like a minimal farmhouse look. I'm also going to show you guys some other pieces in my house that I have that go along with this vibe that I didn't purchase yesterday, like I've had them, but it can give you guys some ideas on what to look out for when you're shopping and um, if you want to have the same kind of style that I do because I know a lot of people struggle to get like a cohesive like theme in their house of how they want to decorate. So hopefully some of the pieces I show you guys will help you and you'll be able to find some of them next time you go shopping. Um, definitely keep your eye out when you go to like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, like I said, they're awesome places to find home decor and Hobby Lobby. Wait for a sale and shop at Hobby Lobby because if you love this vibe like of my house, Hobby Lobby is the place to go. I found so many great things at Hobby Lobby. All my house signs are from there. Um, like this little home is from there. This one isn't from there. Um, I actually made that, but these are from Hobby Lobby. The glassware is from Hobby Lobby. You can find really great, um, you can find really great pieces there. So don't sleep on Hobby Lobby and never sleep on Walmart. It's scary, I know. Everyone wears PJs, I know. But there's some really good hidden gems. You just gotta look for them. Like this. Look at that wreath, what a gem. We found her in the Christmas section last year. Freaking 75% off. Do you know how much that wreath is at Kirkland's? I gotta go. One of my favorite pieces to keep in my house is a blanket ladder. I have another one in my living room. I actually built this one for less than $8. The blanket is from the Goodwill and the wreath, like I said, was a clearance Christmas find from Walmart, their Magnolia wreath. Something like this is so simple to elevate the space. Um, it fills this corner perfectly instead of putting a bulky piece of furniture or hanging another like sign. I already have a sign here, so I didn't want to put another sign over here. Do not clutter up your walls. It will make your house feel so cluttered. That's not the vibe we're going for. If you want it to be minimal, keep things off your walls. Just have a couple statement pieces, like I have this clock that I got from Marshalls. Don't clutter up your walls. So blanket ladders are an awesome way to fill a space. If you are interested in how I built this, definitely comment below. I can do a whole tutorial. I swear to you, it was less than $10 to make, mainly because I already had the stain, but it was so simple. So let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. So here is that spot in my house that I have that other snake plant. I put it in this basket that I found on clearance from Marshall's last summer. And the snake plant is surviving so well. I swear to you, I bought it 
months ago. Actually, I bought it right after I passed the NCLEX. So that was in August and I think I've watered it three times, but she's thriving. So I got that and then I wanted to show you guys this table that I have that um, I decorated mainly with stuff from like Goodwill, Marshalls. Um, so here is where I have my other salt lamp and then this table is actually from the Christmas tree shops, but adding just simple things like wicker, vases, books, pictures, some faux greenery, and just keeping it simple. You don't need to load up your pieces of furniture with different decor. Just keep it basic. You don't need to go out and get like seven different things for each little shelf. Just keep it simple. Once again, instead of filling up this space of wall with another like tacky quote or another picture, hang a plant in the corner and it really just fills up the entire space. I don't need to hang anything on this wall because I have this window, this really pretty window on this wall and this whole wall is just blank and then the plant just fills up the corner perfectly. So you don't always need to hang crap on your walls, okay? Okay, we don't have anything on our walls over here except for that clock on the other wall, but the TV fills up this wall well enough. And I didn't wanna hang something here or here, since there's something here, it will just make the wall look crazy. I think eventually we want to shiplap this wall and hang the TV, but that's a project for another lifetime. <laughs> um, so eventually we'll do something with this wall, maybe put up like really pretty pieces of like old wood. Um, but this blanket ladder just fills the space perfectly with a nice basket and it prevents you from having to hang anything else on the wall because it fills the space well. This is a sign that we have in our living room. It is um, on that wall that's adjacent to our TV where the clock is. Oh, this lighting is terrible. Um, but this is a huge sign that fills the wall perfectly. You don't need anything else on the wall, just a large sign to fill the space. And then it makes it feel a little bit cleaner, less cluttered. And that is the same with over here. Okay, so this is a huge wall in our entryway. You walk into the house from the right and the wall here is gigantic. So instead of filling the wall with different quotes or different picture frames, stuff like that, try to find something that is like a huge piece that you can hang on one wall that's all one theme and then it won't feel as cluttered on the wall. If you have like six different signs going on or something, try to find something that's big enough that will fill the whole space. And then once again, I have that greenery, which ties into the other places that you saw that greenery. You get the idea. This is the entryway table where I put our new snake plant. And as you can see, I don't clutter up this table at all. I just keep it very simple. Can I help you guys? <laughs> the plant is right next to a window, so the plant will love this area. It'll probably thrive over here, but just keep it very simple, neutral. Um, there are a lot of browns over here, so adding in this pop of green really, really makes the space look nice. So just as I showed you guys in the um, vases on the fireplace. I have this greenery up here in my kitchen. So the greenery all kind of ties together. You'll find it in multiple spots in my home. So I think that keeping one style of greenery throughout your house, I mean, of course you can put in some other pops of greenery, like I have this darker one right here. But if you keep that same cohesive vibe of the greenery, it will really make your house feel like it all flows. So definitely pick a piece of greenery that's your favorite and try to stick to it and it'll make your house feel more cohesive.
So as you can see, something just little like this really ties in the whole theme and it even goes with our wicker chairs. And I think it looks a lot better than just throwing a candle in the middle of your island. It makes it a little bit nicer. I wanted to show you guys where I'm going to put the new salt lamp. So let me just take this apart. Maybe I should plug it in first to make sure it works before I rip the thing off. Wow. Oh, it's a dimmable. I love that. So if you're feeling like you just need a, a little bit of light or you're really feeling like you need the power. Oh, this is a good one. $8.99, are you kidding me? I freaking stole it at that price. Oh, I'm amped. Another thing about salt lamps is the darker the lamp, the better it is. The more power, I guess. I don't freaking know. My best friend told me that. Okay, I'm going to leave one of the ties on it just so that the cord isn't all over the counter. And I'm actually going to hide the cord behind this farmhouse box. If it will work with me. Mm. A little bit long. There we go. So I just stick that back there. And there we go. What a beauty. It just adds a little something to this space since we don't have like any under cabinet lighting or anything. I just love them. They're a great little piece to put in your house. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.